Hey, Madden Doors. My name is Daniel. And I'm Maddie. And we are your host for this week's AATV. Before we start, raise your hand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will sell dipping dots, Gatorade, merchandise, and water at the student store. And here is our weatherman. This week's weather is mid-70s to high 60s and particularly cloudy. Eighth graders, make sure to submit your t-shirt design for a t-shirt design contest. One. Also starting Monday, April 1st, students waiting to take Spanish 8th grade year need to sign up for an in-person interview. The sign-up sheet is located outside of Classroom 34. Interviewers will be set for the following week before and after school. The interview is required for all students seriously intended to take class. See Ms. Villegas in Room 34 if you have any questions. Now back to AITV. Uh. The ra a rally is on May 20th. We need a host and a additions on April 4, 2024. Our club is now open to our 7th and 8th graders looking to compete work projects and makeup work in any subject starts at 2.40 and ends at 3.45 p.m. Reminder that students cannot leave early and no gaming allowed. And here is this week's sports highlights. Beaten on the play but didn't give up. Dan Whitty coming off of his best offensive game as a Laker with 11. He goes down the middle with two hands. Slam. He's looking to attack McConnell. Boy, he leads this bench crew. And he's one of the great defensive players as far as stealing the basketball in the league. Oh, Siaka! One hand rise and jam, and he knocks down two Lakers like bowling pins. All attention, but they all left the guy with the ball. Here comes Austin. Interior pass to LeBron for the throwdown. That's it for this week's AITV. So follow on. Instagram Madden Alvarado Madden door so you know what's going on and subscribe to our, our YouTube channel and we see you see guys you next you time next week hi there Matadors let's take a moment to talk about high school graduation requirements even though you're not quite in high school yet we want you to become with high school graduation requirements versus A through G requirements. We want you to know the difference between the two. Pretty soon, you're gonna see this document in your classroom posted. And when you walk by, I would like for you to take a moment and look at it. This document covers high school graduation requirement versus A through G requirement. I'm pretty sure you all know what high school graduation requirements are. They are classes that you have to take in order for you to graduate from high school. I'm not sure if everyone is familiar with A through G requirements. Those are also classes that you need to take in high school in order for you to be eligible to go right into a four year university. In this document that is gonna be posted in your classroom, it compares high school graduation with A through G requirements. For example, if you take a moment to look at English, you're required to complete four years of English in high school just to graduate. You're also required to complete four years of English for A through G requirement. The most important thing for you to get from this is that these classes can be used for both. In this case, for English, you would not have to take eight years of English, you would just count one English class for both high school graduation and A through G requirement. Once these are up in your classrooms, please take a moment to compare and contrast the high school graduation column versus the A through G requirements column. Remember, A through G courses are required if you are wanting to go right from high school into a four-year university. If you want to go right into 
a college such as Mount Sac or Fullerton College or Rio Hondo, all you need is high school graduation. When you're looking at this document and comparing and contrasting the two columns, know that they do overlap and double count. Should you have any questions, please feel free to stop by your counselor's office to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you for listening and for watching. We'll see you all soon. Hey, hey Matadors. <laughs> 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 I got a